mischief and craft. Okay, welcome to the, I don't know how to speak that name, eggs VTM demo. While playing, please be aware of the following. Game saves and achievements are disabled. You can play with either a gamepad or keyboard mouse. Please share any feedback you have in the so Steam forums. If you had fun, be sure to add this game to your wishlist. Thanks, and we hope you enjoy your time in Gloombridge. Okay, I am not really sure what kind of a game this is, but mm -hmm. it sounds a bit creepy, honestly. Notice, use of the software constitutes acceptance of the end user license agreement. You can find a copy of this agreement in your game folder. Yeah, sure, okay. I I am not using I just make advertisement without getting explicit violence delicious food <laughs> alcohol and drug use immaturity okay luxury goods nudity and sexual themes counterfeiting and theft flashing lights I refuse. Okay, I'm a bit afraid of the flashing lights though. Um, in the beginning of the game it was recommended to play this. I'm so sorry, I have to make it a bit louder so you hear the haunting music. Um, it was recommended to play it in darkness and to wear headphones. I have headphones and I don't play it in the dark because I don't like sitting in the dark while playing. But it is, uh, it is uh, night, so I want to keep going. Let's see what happens. If I don't like it, I just stop playing. Okay. When faced with a completed problem, compli com complicated problem, I Ask a close friend for help, solve it on my own, talk to someone who solved it in the, fa in the past. Hmm, when faced with a complicated problem. That's a good question. It depends on the problem, actually. If someone else is in the problem involved or if it is just about my own life. Hmm... Talk to someone who solved it in the past. If I know people that I know they had the same problems, then yeah, I would ask them. Ask a close friend for help. Honestly, now that I'm married, I ask my husband for help. Usually, so. I focus on the details, yeah all the time because I want things to be perfect most of the time but I keep the big picture in mind only when I need to since it lets me finish faster no um honestly I'm I'm a perfectionist per se but I try to be like more the second most of the time but I keep the big picture in my mind I try to be more like this because if you are fumbling with details, then you might, yeah, lose the big picture out of, out of sight. And that's not really, especially at work, not always the best thing to do. If you have enough time, then yeah, go for perfectionism. But nah, I would say I try to go for this. In my free time, I'd like to. Go out with my friends, no. <laughs> Watch movies and shows on the loop. Do things with my family. Watch movies and shows on the loop, play games. Um, being at home, basically. If I could, I would do things with my family, but yeah, at the moment I'm not able to, so. If 
my friend was suddenly out sick from school, suddenly out sick from school, I would wait for them to come back. Send them a message to see how they are doing. Plan something fun for when they're feeling better. I would send them immediately. I would even go there and ask how they are. If I can. But messaging of absolutely yeah. Falling in love. Sounds exciting. Since it means someone cares about me. Scares me. Because I don't know if I'm ready for it. Could be fun. But I'd want to start out as friends. Um, yeah, it could be fun, but I would want to start out as friends, definitely. It's very important to me to, to have this feeling of, in first place, this person is my closest friend and I have the trust to tell them anything and, um, also the feeling of, Yeah, that you talk about meaningful things, like, that is important to you. Yeah. I think being friends in a relationship is even more important than being lovers. Thinking about my future excites me and I'm already making plans. Makes me nervous because anything could happen. Doesn't bother me since things always work out. Um... Thinking about my future, well, like I'm 35, um, I don't want to be rude, but of course I am middle-aged, so nearly middle-aged, you know, 45, I think these days you call a middle-aged woman. Um, but yeah, as a mother and a wife, you don't really plan for yourself so much. You plan for your child more than for yourself, kinda. Um, it, but honestly, it doesn't bother me since things always work out. They always kind of work out. Um, it's not making me nervous. I am rather curious about future. Um, well. At the moment, I work on future though. I do plans because I have things in my life that I work on for years now with my husband together. So yeah, it, it excites me. It excites me if I think about my future, actually. <laughs> Sheridan, you close the questionnaire and sit back in your chair. That was pretty fun, actually. You twist left and right to stretch, then look out of the floor to ceiling, you know, next to your desk. Gray again, huh? Looks like it might rain even. Uh, the step terraces of Gloombridge, your home our ecology descended descend outside it's really hard to read i'm sorry your eyes move between outdoor cafes quiet storefronts and a large sprawling pub public park could go for a walk maybe or see if soya wants to get lunch your thoughts drift to the weekend i got that thing this friday though Look for him near the fountain. I can't forget. You turn away from the window as you see your teacher expand a large screen on the wall. Okay, only a few hours left. Probably gonna be something easy. Your heart sings when you realize it's another history lesson. Oh, I love history actually. A soft rain begins outside as the lecture continues. I love history. I have to add this in here. Um... It's very funny, uh, when I was younger I loved reading his historical um, novels, but since I got older I started being more and more interested in history. I was always really interested in history, but I got even more interested in history and I started reading biographies and history um, books about you know, everything, <laughs> basically every country that exists. I love to read about those countries and people live there and 
the nobles, but also the peasants. It's very interesting. And I have to pause this game for a second. Okay, so if we go on. After the final class on Friday, you head to the mill station mall with your friends. You'll half listen to the conversation as the group walks over. What did he say again? Guy in a blue coat with a hood with a hood waiting by the big fountain? What if I can't find him? What if he's late and we miss each other? Your imagination swirls with possibilities. You shake your head. No, it will be fine. Mall's mostly empty these days. Anyway, guy in a blue coat. Easy, easy. Sheridan rejoins the conversation and suggests the group get something to eat from the food court near the fountain. Now I'm hungry. Thank you, girl. You settle into your chair and take a bite of your extra pepperoni pizza. I want pizza too! Blue jacket, blue jacket, not seeing him. The conversation continues around you and a few fake laughs and yeah, I know, lets you avoid getting too involved. You swipe open your wearable to check for messages. You swipe open your wearable. Nothing. Okay. Did something happen? Maybe he... Wait. Across the atrium, you spot a guy in a blue jacket taking an escalator down from the second level. Is that the man in the blue jacket approaches the fountain, then stops next to it. You swallow another bite of your pizza, then push back from the table. Gonna run to the bathroom real quick. Don't let anyone take my seat, okay? You half wave, ignoring your friends, then head toward the fountain. 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 Your pulse quickens in anticipation. Antic anticipation. I'm sorry, I really cannot read so well this language. Uh, this writing. <laughs> This language also. Two parts left, working on the last one tonight. Gonna have them by Sunday latest, okay? Breathe. Two parts left, working on the last one tonight. Gonna have them by Sunday latest, okay? Breathe. You put your hands in your pockets as you approach the fountain. The guy in the blue jacket sees you and nods. Relax, done this before. They hate it when you get nervous. Just relax and wait a sec. You think you spot someone watching you from the other side of the fountain and stop in your tracks. Weird person. The man in the blue jacket seeing Sheridan stop in place after noticing something in the distance looks over his shoulder. A second later, as if on instinct, the man rushes past, past Sheridan toward the main entrance. Okay, you try to say something as he leaves. To say something as he leaves, but nothing comes out. What's wrong? Did you turn back? Okay, a machine. You turn back toward the fountain just in time to see security rush out from around a corner. Oh shit. Without thinking nor with a destination in mind, you start running in the opposite direction. Sheridan's friends continue their meal, oblivious to the flurry of activity in the background. Was she building something for people? Okay. All right. You aimlessly grow you aimlessly grope at the locked door behind you, but it stays shut. Hey, it wasn't... Um, this, it's a mistake. Your eyes dart between the different officers and their auto... Automata while your heart pounds uncontrollably. Th that guy in the blue jacket never d didn't know him. Detective... Hug you? Hug, hug you? Hug you? I hug you. Save it. If you were innocent, you wouldn't have run. The detective looks Sheridan up and down, then glances at one of his automata. Cuff her. We're cuff her. 
<laughs> we are going to Central. The group exits the mall through a back entrance and approaches the waiting convoy. Sheridan's contact, the man in the blue jacket, is already sitting in the back of one of the vehicles. Um, I think it's an interesting concept so far. The thing is, it is not good as a let's play, basically. I would maybe play it if I'm alone. Story-based games are usually really cool, especially something that is a bit mysterious like this. Um, but is reading a lot. The detective speaks into a floating panel on his forearm. Yeah, we are done here. Two, two for booking. Once a juvenile, juvenile, notify her parents. Tell Edmund to send their people and prep one of the interview rooms. We'll be there in fifteen. The ride back to Central Division is quiet but tense. You glance at one of the security officers sitting next to you, but nervously turn away when he looks back. Shit, those guys gotta be some kind of tactical, special ops, something. And they came for me? I'm screwed. The convoy pulls into one of Central's lower entrances and then into a protected garage. Garage. Sheridan's vehicle disembarks first, and she's hurried down a corridor. She exchanges a desperate final look with the man in the blue jacket before both are moved in separate rooms. Okay, I see. You hesitantly take a seat in the interview room. Your stomach is in knots, and you can't stop sweating. The detective sits down across from you. It's okay, it will be okay, we'll, we'll just... Talk it out. Yeah, nothing to worry about. You swallow. You're in deep shit. Your throat catches. What? It. I wasn't. The detective expands a panel and reads through your arrest sheet. Criminal conspiracy, possession of illegal technology, resisting, resisting arrest. Each charge hits you like a hammer. You swallow and squirm in your seat. But that's just your usual. I know. He sits forward. I don't care about that stuff. Some idiot kid making. What? Counterface shoes to impress her friends? Doesn't matter to me. He sits back and folds his arms. But when you start making parts for a bomb, people are going to notice. Your heart races. A, a bomb? A I wasn't. They said it was just some parts for a custom builder. Not a... He glances at your arrest report. I could believe that you were too stupid to realize it. What those Tower Street idiots had you doing? He looks at you. But the fact remains, if we hadn't caught you, they would have finished it. And people could have died. A lot of people. You start to hyperventilating. No, I never wanted that. I'm, I just... What really pisses me off, though, he stares at you. Is that you could have gone to college, used those skills for something important, something valuable, helped people instead being a selfish brat like this. You shake your head in fran frantic protest. I, I still can, I promise, I'll... Promise? Promise what? That you'll... He scrolls to something in the heiress report. Never do anything like this again or that you'll be responsible with your talents? He stares at you. The guys in District 12 may have let you off with a warning, but we don't fuck around in Central. District 12, okay. He taps the table, not with repeat defenders. O uh, of offenders. He taps it again, but forcefully, and not with people making bombs. Your stomach twists and your eyes start watering. Please, I, I didn't know I... It was just supposed to be parts for... He goes back to your house report. Normally, I'd have you shipped off tonight. Full isolation, down in high security. Jail? I'm going to jail? You feel like throwing up. But, he glances at you. Lucky for you, I do think you're just some stupid kid who is in over her head and didn't know what she was making. He leans forward and rests his elbows on the table. Give me everything you've got 
on the people who gave you the job. Write a sworn testimony and maybe, maybe you won't go inside. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I had to take a zip. <clears throat> he sits back and folds his arms. But make no mistake, Miss Swan. Swan, why is Swan so, so often? Basically, there is no music. Why I don't hear music? So weird. That should be music, right? <clears throat> it's so silent. It shows me that there should be music, but I don't hear any. That's weird. Okay. You're not getting out of this lightly. You fidget, but calm down a bit. What's gonna happen to me? He glances at your arrest report. With your priors, I guess... Parole for 10 years, maybe 15. You stare at the center of the table's surface. 10 years. Beneath the table, your hands tremble uncontrollably. Maybe a little less for good behavior. Then you can finish high school. Go to college, even. You exhale in ragged, panicked breaths. Finish. Then? Y you mean? Yes, but only if you cooperate. You look up at Detective Hug you. And the reality of your situation sets in. Oh, okay. Let's get started. Okay, Swan Sheridan. Sinus. Sin sinus? Case number possession of illegal technology, fabrication of explosive materials, participation in a criminal conspiracy, distribution of counterfeit goods, resisting arrest. Because she was resisting arrest, I mean, who is not a resisting arrest? Uh, none. Our college ID, Castle Grove. Within your south unit five six six October H seventeen height. Oh she's big she's taller than me. Green eyes, okay. Sixty nine, yeah, it's in the future that I thought. Uh Adrian Hoggy Major Crimes. October 2986. Oh, wow, okay. That's far, far, far in the future. Wowie zowie. I don't even think that humans are existing then anymore. Not, at least not in this kind of civilization. <laughs> I have to say. Mm. Um, but. Oh, I'm so sorry. But maybe I am just very dark about this here. <laughs> Um, okay, no, suspects one known to sector 12 from case blah 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 Local forgery ring issued Citation kept on watch list Involvement with criminal group Tower Street Coincidental but suspect may have acted with local accomplices Bomb components recovered at scene not yet assembled Suspect observed in Fountain Plaza, traveling alone. Sawyer Murray, boyfriend, interviewed. No involvement, released. Ah, so she had a boyfriend. Okay, Sawyer Murray. Um, suspect fully cooperative. No ulterior motive suspected. Hearing dates. Exp expedited sentencing. Okay. File Darkness, my old friend. Two years later. Okay. So 
she's 19 now. You lean into the glass, lost in a dream. <laughs> this is cool, like... <laughs> that picture actually is really cool, like she's... Okay. Your eyelids flutter and you mumble something about eating breakfast in a large wooden room while watching a snowstorm outside. Sweating under the sun in an outdoor market, walking beneath palm trees and giant indoor mall, being trapped in large mine. Oh no, I don't want to have a... Nah. Eating breakfast in a large wooden room while watching a snowstorm outside. That's, that's kind of nice. You take a bite of a warm pastry while looking into the nighttime snowstorm outside. I'm really hungry. Got that. <laughs> Before someone taps you on the shoulder. Your face slides against the glass as the chain goes around a bend. Sheridan's commute continues. You drag yourself through the entrance. Oh, she looks really tired. Focusing on a single call, a go, coffee. Break room, mini builder. Need to wake up, need to wake. As you head toward the break room, one of room and pillars bus boys, a friend looks up from his variable to greet you. Variable. They don't call it jacket, they call it variable. Okay. You look like shit. Thanks. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Another late night was trying for this contest out of new heaven first 200 registrations got pattern rights for a new self-adjusting pillow for a month did you get it no filled up in half a second being on the other side of an ocean fucked me what being on the other side of an ocean fucked me couldn't you just you know make one yourself Patterns too new. Need to wait a month. Then yeah, maybe. Okay. Yeah, let the people who got in early find the problems first, right? Um, Euro stuff always gets tweaked after launch. The bus boy leans in. No cologne today. Hey, speaking of, you got started on that thing yet? You blink, trying to remember. No. The jack the bus by lowers his voice. The jacket for the guy from up north. Oh yeah, right. Was that all he wanted? To start, if it goes okay, might be more. He's gonna be here in a few days. You rub your face, already feeling the beginnings of a headache. Why did I think drinking would help me stay awake? Jacket in a few days. Got it. Okay, now, please let me just get to the break room so I can get some coffee. A hollow panel lights up on your left forearm. A new message. Priority, order pickup in kitchen for table three. You groan and swipe the message and close it. Coffee's gonna have to wait, I guess. You sigh. Couldn't they just wait, like, five minutes? Guess not. You still remember where the pickup area 15 at last area 15 yeah in the kitchen on the right a5 a5 you enter i'm not that tired in the kitchen on the right as you enter yep that must be why your pants are on backwards you immediately look down at your pants and pat the front and back fuck me did i really the bus by laughs Haha, <laughs> so funny, you're hilarious. Your forearms panel lights up again with a reminder. Better get going, I'll talk to you later. Yep, see you. Okay, need to pick up that order in the kitchen, then get it to table three in the bottom middle booth. Oh, that, 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 that can be interesting now, I have to remember this. Okay, order in the kitchen. Table three, bottom middle booth. Table three... Okay. 
right like that. <laughs> okay so as you enter on the right they said right that looks very kitschy bottom middle table three Or is that kitchen? No, that doesn't look, that's toilet, right? Ah, oh, this is, okay. You collect the perfectly arranged tray from the frictionless convoyer, conveyor. Okay, looks like breakfast. Is it still morning? Whatever. Now, where is it going? You carefully swipe open a whole panel to recheck the message from earlier. Table three, middle of the dining room, just after the entrance. Right at the entrance, okay, table three, middle of the dining room. So I guess this is the entrance, right? Table three. Is this table three? No. Did they eat already? right after the entrance I actually don't know what to do Need to get this to T3 bottom middle. Bottom middle. I think this is bottom middle, right? I don't know exactly what to do. Yeah, um. I walk everywhere. <laughs> I don't know. I just can stomp over people. That's uh, amazing. Controls. Yeah, show me controls. Move up. Interact, confirm. Space. Ah, okay. Return. Return. Okay. Um, bottom, middle. Bottom, bottom, middle. I would say then is this bottom middle? Space? No. He? Interact confirm. Space. <sighs> Maybe she has to eat with the guests together. I don't get this. No. Right? 
right at the entrance. I don't understand these controls. Uh, I don't want to be rude, dear publishers, but I don't understand what exactly you want me to go. Can't leave yet as much as I want to. Yeah, you have to work. I understand that, but like confirm interact yeah i would love to pillar bar guess we skipped on the name <sighs> at the entrance bottom middle should be here But I cannot do anything. It says space, but I press space like an idiot. Yeah, I give up. Um, I'm so sorry, but you saw enough of the game, I guess. I saw enough of the game. Thank you so much for watching this demo. And if you're interested in XVTM or whatever it is called, uh, really, I don't know how to say the name, then please wishlist it. And when it came out, then please buy it. Have fun. Thank you for watching.